Adam Chandler. Adam? I thought I'd never reach you. It's all right, Stuart. Haley's out of danger. No permanent damage. I'll give you the whole ugly story. No, no, no. I know. I know all, I know all about Haley. You don't need to, need to explain that. Well, if you know about Haley, then why do you sound so upset? Why don't you? Stuart, I'm too tired for, for riddles. What's wrong? You don't know? Don't know what? Oh, that's why you sound so calm. Uh, Liza didn't... Um, I thought she'd have told you by now. What the devil was Liza supposed to have told me? Well... Stuart. We don't own WRCW anymore. Dimitri Merrick has... What? Dimitri Merrick has WRCW. Merrick owns my station? How did that... How did this happen, Stuart? Well... I had to bar set that 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 I could, and but but I had to put up WRCW. Wait, 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 wait back up. How, why did you and need he, a lot of money? How much? And when he wanted his money back so fast, I had to fork over WRCW. Well, there must have been quite a behind the scenes. I'm sorry, Adam. I'm, I'm really super duper sorry. Later, Stuart. <laughs> It was a question of overload. Haley was in jeopardy. Another crisis might have landed you in the hospital. So you decided to just keep me in the dark. I shouldn't. Why should I know that Dimitri had taken over WRCW? It wasn't the right time to tell you. You turned off the cell phone so I wouldn't find out. I didn't want you to fight on two fronts. No, no. You didn't want me to fight at all, did you? That's why we were out here doing downtime with bad sandwiches and soda. I was concerned about you and Haley. Did you, did you and Dimitri, did you get just work this out together? Adam's having his mid-family crisis right now, so all systems go. Let's just swoop in and steal the store. I was not privy to Dimitri's plan. I flew out here because I cared about you and Haley. Oh, bull! You, you saw a way to get back at me, and you joined forces with Dimitri. You kept me from finding out about RCW. Why would I keep you from finding out about WRCW? Why? Why? I'll tell you why. Because I would have found a way to stop him. That's why. I thought having a daughter on the brink of death was more than one man should have to take. I did want to see you have a break from the world. I did want to see you survive this. Well, you know what? Forgive me. I forgot you are human. I should have just showed up and dumped it all on you. Get out of my sight. Have I lost any more businesses? Yeah, no, no. I'm, Adam, I'm so sorry. No, no, no save the sorries, Stuart. I know Li Liza and Merrick set Liza? you up. You were an no. easy target for them. You never stood a chance. Well, Liza I'll get the, didn't even... I will get the station back and I'll fix Liza and Merrick. Adam, you're wrong about Liza. You, you don't know what she's... I may not know much, Adam, but I know, what I, I know Liza had nothing to do with this. She was scared for you and she was trying to help you out. You're defending Liza, you detest Liza. Well, she's done a lot of rotten stuff, but she didn't do, she didn't have anything to do with this. When she told me that Haley was in the hospital, she was only thinking about you and Haley. She's an accomplished liar. Stop that, Adam. She was concerned about you and Haley. She, she was worried about you. She was even upset about the, about the, what happened with WRCW. She was... You? Oh, well, that's, 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 that's really rich, Stuart. Look, I have to go. I'll take care of Merrick when I get home. Are you and Liza coming home tonight? I'm... Haley and Mateo are getting married tomorrow. Oh, what? You mean in the hospital? Yes. Yes, yeah, so you'll know where to find me. Uh, Liza's probably on her way to the station. Tell Haley... Tell Haley I love her. Yeah, okay. And tell her I'll call her tomorrow on her wedding day. Yeah, will do. I'll talk to you soon. Yes, yes, that's right. Chef Mario was supposed to be here over an hour ago. Would you just put me through to Mario? His agent? Well, why does the chef need an agent? 
All for his own cooking show. I see, I see. Well, I'll tell you what. You and Mario can both choke on your ravioli. Rudy. Look at this place. Doesn't it look great? Yep. We had a hard time replicating the world-famous brick oven. Chef Mario Russo's famous brick oven pizza. I hope he makes the one with the uh, uh, fresh tomatoes and the artichoke hearts and the uh, goat cheese. <laughs> I wonder if I can have a slice afterwards. I don't know. What's it worth to you? I'd be eternally grateful. Mm, right. mm -hmm. Well, in that case, you want that pie to stay or to go? Dad, we need to talk. In a minute. I haven't had my coffee yet. Oh, well, I'll have Rudy bring you a cup. Coffee isn't Rudy's job. You know, if you're really serious about being productive around here, you may want to do yourself a favor. Why don't you tootle off to your new office and go over people's job descriptions? Go over people's job descriptions? The staff does what I tell them to do, and that means everyone. Now, I need to talk to you about a change in today's schedule. You and Erica, where is she? Erica? What has Erica got to do with anything? <laughs> She's your, your co-host. Was for the day. No, she's still your co-host. No, it was a lark. She was promised her own show. Why don't you let her get Eric alive or whatever the hell it's called off the Eric Eric alive is dead. You're scrapping it. Never existed. Erica's going to be living. Erica's under contract at this station, and as of now, that set has two chairs and two mugs permanently. You can't do that. I just did. It's my show. It was hers, and it was yours. Now you can both bask in the glory together. And, Tad, don't call your agent. Your contract doesn't have a host exclusivity clause. You see, Tad, I do read. I'm very productive. Pop, did you get everything? It took some doing, but it's all set. Now all I have to do is go talk to Haley. Well, you better snap to it. Okay, how do I look? Great. Okay, thank Bad you. Fabulous. Liza, I thought you would have been out on the first plane last night. Skulking out in the middle of the night is not my style. Neither is conspiring with Dimitri Merrick. Liza, You I... accused me of something last night, and I, I let you, because I knew that you were concerned for your daughter, but today you are going to sit down and you are going to hear me out. Liza, listen. No, Adam, listen to me. I didn't know that Dimitri had taken over the company until I got on the plane and I was on my way here. I was in the middle of a breaking story and I just dropped it cold. Now, if you are so manipulative or so cynical that you wouldn't think that anybody would do anything for you without some sort of hidden agenda or Machiavellian motives that I couldn't possibly try to want you, you to be calm and... Did you just shut and... up and listen to me? I was wrong last night. And I'm sorry. The doctors, they want to keep you here a little longer. They say it's for observation, but I think they just want to keep you to themselves. Mm, well, I'm flattered, but I'm fine. Yeah, and you need more rest. Mm. You know, those miraculous survivals, they take a lot out of a person. I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, you are. And so am I. You're the only medicine I need. Okay. I know I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again. As long as you and I are together, we can make it through anything. So, in fact, I believe in that so much, I want to make sure we're together forever. marry me today now you mean you we you wish we could be married right now no i want to marry you right now right now right here in this room right here in this room in the hall on the moon i don't care i don't want to wait another minute another day i can't let's do it come on come on Mateo, we have things to think about, sweetie. I mean, we, the marriage license and blood uh, tests care of all that. and... Got the marriage license yesterday, and we took a little blood from your, your, your tests. Sorry. Can they do that? Well, no one your father does have its perks sometimes. He's in on this? Please, okay, forget about your father. The, the chaplain, the hospital chaplain's waiting, okay? All they do is give him a call, and we'd be husband and wife before you know it.
The rings. I mean, the Santos rings. Are in the rings. past. This is a new ring, a new start. Well, what's wrong? You don't like it? Oh, it's beautiful. Then just say yes. Don't you want to marry me? I talked to Stuart last night. And he told me that he had to put up WRCW as collateral. I know you had nothing to do with losing the station. I was wrong to jump to conclusions. So please accept my apology. Well, wonders never cease. Apology accepted. Your leap to the worst case scenario is explainable, given my talent for outwitting you. How magnanimous of you, Liza. Don't act so surprised. Actually, I'm surprised you're not at WRCW right now, sounding the Chandler war cry. No, not in good time. My daughter's getting married today. I'm staying to give the bride away. Well, where's Sky? She had the good grace to leave last night. Oh, and you, you stayed for the wedding. That was, that was nice of you, Adam. And my absence may lull Dimitri into a false sense of security. But my retaliatory strike will be lethal. Nobody takes advantage of Stuart. And nobody makes a fool of Adam Chandler. Except possibly Adam Chandler. Coffee. I'm impressed. You actually took the time to read the fine print in my contract. He's trying to manage the station, Tad. Well, what you're trying to do is hogtie your ex-wife. And you're taking everybody here down with her. I guess foisting Eric in a seat next to me is just one more little perk for you, isn't it? Uh, Tad, try to keep your ego out of this. It's business, pure economics. It's a vendetta, and everybody knows it. You're besting me because you lost face with Gloria, and you're pulling the plug on Erica because you lost to her in court. Adam should never have promised Erica a show. The station can't afford it. Now, you and Erica used to be quite close. I think you'll adjust. You really are contemptible. You know something? You are a spoiled celebrity in mid-tantrum. I don't believe it. I swear I never saw, thought I would see the day when I longed for Adam and Eliza. Yeah, well, they aren't here, so just concentrate on getting through this day. Besides, the worst is over. Bad news and better news. <sighs> Bad news first. Erica phoned in. She won't be in the studio today. She has a personal emergency. Well, at least that's good news for you, Tad. Uh, the better news? Chef Mario Russo, messenger Dover, his award-winning recipe for stuffed artichoke and goat cheese pizza. Messenger? What do you mean, messenger? Doesn't he know it by heart? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about, Tad. Chef his today. That means that you will be doing the cooking segment. Bon appétit. sudden. Are you kidding me? We've planned this for months. We should be an old married couple by now. Yeah, but I feel like we're in react mode, like we're just jumping into this. Okay, okay, maybe it's not the, right, the best time, but who cares about that? We've put it off before and something always happened. I'm so sorry. About what? Don't be. Let's not look back. That's what I mean. Let's, let's look forward. You and me, okay? Come on. I can't believe after everything that's happened, you still want to marry me. Are you kidding? When your plane went down, when we called off the wedding, when I saw the, the car wreckage, I faced the possibility that you may be gone from my life forever. And you know what? It killed me. Okay. I was mad when we broke up. I was, I was, I was angry. But it wasn't rage that was keeping me up at night. It was hopelessness. For the first time in my life, I felt helpless and I couldn't take it. And that's why I had to find out the truth about Tanner. And that's why I had to go to the cave to find you. Look at me. I'm never gonna let anything come between us again. Because without you, there's nothing. I have no future. I have no hope. I'm nothing. I love you. And I've loved you from the minute I've laid eyes on you. 
and I always will. So marry me, all right? Grow old and toothless with me, please. Will you marry me? Of course I'll marry you. Of course. Oh, I love you. I was afraid to even dream this could ever happen. And when I was stuck in that cave, I thought I was going to die, and I prayed to God that our spirits would come together again in the next life. And I even prayed that I could stay back and, and watch over you in this life until we could be reunited. I love you so much. With all my heart and soul. I just want to make you happy the way you make me happy. We are going to have the best life. I promise. Did she say yes? Uh, it's about time we've been counting the ceiling tiles out of here. Of course I said yes. <laughs> All right, well then, call the chapel. Yes. Let's do it. Yes, let's do it. No, wait, wait, no. What do you mean, no? You, you said yes. I can't, not like this. Why not? Honey, you look great. You look beautiful. Oh. I want to be a blooming, blushing bride. I want Papa parading by my side. I want a veil that'll trail to the altar rail. I want a groom that'll pale with pride. I want tin cans and old, old shoes that all my loving friends no longer care to use. I want an orange blossom wreath. I want to smile and show my teeth. I want to be a blooming, blushing bride. <laughs> hey, would you like to change for your encore, darling? Adam, don't you get it? I get that you're a constant surprise, Liza. Oh, Adam, it's a, it's a song my father used to sing to me when I used to play Bride. You played Bride? Yeah, didn't you? Well, um, I'm the groom. I'll, I'll play the groom. Uh, yeah, I'm the father, I'm here, so, so what are we waiting uh, for? No, uh, men. All right, you are going to leave, right, right. and the next time I see you, you're going to be wearing a suit. You are going to get tin cans and old shoes and an orange blossom wreath, a disposable camera. She already said yes, now scram, now orange leave, now find an orange blossom wreath, tin cans and old Can shoes. <sighs> Bye.